Hello and welcome to to the show. Listen, I'm so glad that you joined us today. You know, we've got a great show planned for you. As I said, this is the year of live your dreams and enjoy life. And, you know, I'm always speaking with people who are doing just these wonderful things in the community. And so, you know, I have a very special guest, an amazing woman for our Women's History Month, and that we are celebrating, as she would say, her Black story or her story. Well, I'm going to get her to tell it to you the way she does it in her special way. But well, we're going to be talking with Queen Quet, the chiefess of the Gullah Geechee Nation. And I'm excited to have her on the show because, you know, I'm Gullah Geechee too. And so when she come out, we're going to be talking about the Gullah Geechee Nation. And so I just want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy because it's coming up next. Join us for Just Sharing, building community through stories of our past, discussing the 70th anniversary of Briggs v. Elliott, Brown v. Board, April 18, 6 p.m. at the Orangeburg County Conference Center, 1643 Russell Street. Speakers are Dr. Vernon Burton, Dr. Bobby Donaldson, Mr. Cecil Williams, and moderated by Ms. Tammy McContry. This event is free to all and light refreshments will be served. Registration is required. Sponsored by the South Carolina Humanities, National Endowment for the Humanities, United we stand and the Cecil Williams South Carolina Civil Rights Museum. For more information, call 803 662 4644. The Cecil Williams South Carolina Civil Rights Museum is the Palmetto State's first and only museum. It honors a generation of people, black and white, throughout the state of South Carolina who deserve to be remembered for their unselfish commitments and sacrifices. Enjoy an immersive and entertaining virtual tour. For more information, visit www.cecilwilliams.com. Hello, everybody. It's Finkley of The Michael Finkley Show, and you're watching Gold right now. Why? You're watching The Tammy Show. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. Well, I hope you are joining us and I hope you're sitting back and relaxing because why? I'm going to introduce you to this special woman. You know, she is a devoted mother. She's a dedicated daughter. She's an amazing woman and she is Gullah Geechee. None other than Queen Quet of the Gullah Geechee Nation. Come on out, Queen, my darling. Peace, love, and blessings. <laughs> Happy Black Earth Story. <laughs> what my sister on the do up in you? I for do just fine. Listen, oh, it is the Black Earth Story. That's what you say. The Black Earth Story Month. I knew yes, it was her story. I just couldn't get the other part right. But listen, thank you so much, Queen, for being on the show. You know, we haven't seen each other in a while. And when I thought about Women's History Month, I could not think of anybody else that I wanted to have on the show and to feature on our show during this time of the month. And that's you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And you know, I always tell all the other us all month, we have a change up that thing because we ain't the demand and thing like that. So the woman, her story month. Why well, we could give them back to him or do her story. So I'm so glad that all of them out you on a happy woman, her story month. And, you know, it's been really a blessing because all month as I pass by women and I say happy, happy women's her story month. Women have turned around. Went, oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Same to you. Yeah. you know, and, and one woman yeah. said, I have never been. That's never been said to me. You know, and she was just so yeah. elated about it. So we got to celebrate us as the ladies. So it is Women's Her Story Month, y'all. Her Story Month. That's right. And Queen, you look fabulous. Listen, you know, I, I want to start because I gave you a short introduction. You know, when it comes to Queen Quet, you have done so much world the, the World Trade Center, when I think about all the places in United Nations and the places that you have been, the things that you have done, the lives that you have touched, I want people to know you. So I want you, when someone says, who is Queen Quit? What do you mm -hmm. say to them? Well, most of the time, the first thing I say, I the Queen Quit head from the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation. 
I'm the chief distant head of state of the Gullah Geechee Nation. I'm a founder of the Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition. I'm a native of St. Helena Island, St. Helena Island, South Kakalaki in the Gullah Geechee Nation. So I am proud to be Gullah Geechee. So that's usually the way I would start off. And most times, if it ain't here at home, you know somebody going to ask me, well, what is Gullah Geechee? Right. That's, That's usually right. the follow up that leads into everything else. <laughs> That's right. So, so let's follow up. What is Gullah? You know, I tell I'm I'm Gullah Geechee too from Charleston, mm -hmm. South Kakalaki. So what? Right. So what is Gullah Geechee? So when hundred children the Yeti people are cracking teeth like they share that at first inclination, hundred them find one a week. Who be Gullah Geechee? So if you hear that spoken, very likely you have found a Gullah Geechee person. Because Gullah itself is not only the people, it is also a language that was created by our ancestors that amalgamated numerous African languages and blended in some Elizabethan English. Now, Geechee came out of Gullah-speaking people's interactions with non-Gullah-speaking people, primarily American English-speaking people. So it became a dialect of the Gullah language or a pidgin or bridge through those two languages. So we have Geechee that grew out of Gullah, but Geechee also represents the people. So a lot of times socio-anthropologists who were not Gullah Geechee, who were not people of African descent, tried to divide us and say, oh, Gullah is in South Carolina Sea Island. Geechee is in the Georgia Sea Islands. How is that? When these are still the same family members, St. Helena Island, Beaufort County is very close to Savannah. I get there faster than I get to Charleston. So if That's a right. family member of mine lives there, it doesn't make them become Geechee because they went from South Carolina to Georgia. We be Gullah Geechee anointed people. We are one people. We have one language, one flag, one nation from Jacksonville, North Kakalaki to Jacksonville, Florida. So it encompasses all the sea islands and 30 to 35 miles inland to the St. John's River. That's right. And, you know, even North Carolina is a part of the Gullah Geechee Nation, but just Absolutely. a piece of North Carolina. Correct? Am I correct? That's correct. That? that is correct. And the same with thing with Florida. So I always tell people the easy way to remember it, just say Jacksonville to Jacksonville. And then just mm -hmm. look at look up on a map. You know, when you and I was coming up, we had to physically get a globe or a map out. And <laughs> you weren't going to find John Saul and you ain't been going to find Wamala. You ain't been going to find Hell, none of that. But now we got Google Maps. So y'all can find it on there. Just <laughs> Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And, you know, I like what you said. Um, and that's why I tell people Gullah is a language. You know, it's a dialect. It really is a language. It's a dialect. When we talk about people from the from our Ivory Coast and mm -hmm. coming to, you know, being brought. Well, listen, folks, you already know we were brought here. Yeah. We were just brought here, period. Yeah. We didn't come on our own. We were brought. Right. When you talk about that, how do you correlate that and make and and let people know, hey, we are basically we're the same. These are our ancestors. Yes. So how do you I, how do you yeah. How do you make the connection? So when right. you think about the Windward Coast, the Rice Coast, the Gold Coast, and you talk about Ibo, Mandinka, Malinke, Yuriba, Gola, Gizi, Mendi, Temni, Fiki, Bibio, all of these different ethnic groups and more actually were the ones kidnapped and brought over at different times during the crime against humanity that is called the transatlantic slave trade. All right. And so when they got here, they were blended. And that was the strategy to try to keep them apart and then only listen to the enslaver and then be assimilated into speaking the way Tammy and I are speaking now, right? But fortunately, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they've had mother with and thing like that, Eddie. So instead of destroying all their languages, they put them all together. So even now, and you know this well, because when we used to host groups through the South Carolina World Trade Center, we had many groups come in through Department of State from various parts of West Africa and some from Congo, mm -hmm. and they would always say, I feel at home here. These are my people. Mm -hmm. There'll be something we're eating, okay, like red rice, where it's always the argument. Red rice. That, rice or that jollof rice, right? <laughs> or they'll hear <laughs> us say a word, and they'll say, sister, how do you know this word? How do you know this thing? That's right. Yeah. What are I, you saying? I, I, I understood you, sister. What is this you're speaking? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, this is Gullah. 
and or uh, they'll hear some English and I'll say, no, see, that's Geechee. But this over here is Gullah. <laughs> and they'll go, Gullah. oh, wow. You know, and they, they are connected still. In spite of all the harsh things we've been through as African people around the world, the thing that still links us is our spirituality, our language, our food ways. Those are always ways to say, oh, I know that's my cousin there. These are my kin people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. You know, and as we are talking, I, I, am, I am reminded and I want to ask you, how do you cut it on and cut it off? Everybody ask, people ask me that all the time. All the yes. time. The cord switch gal. Hold on, but that's what and thing like that. And I think easy when we the deal wrong one another and thing like that. Now when the buckle them did it, some we don't mm -mm. you know and thing like that. Oh, we go in the city, you know, we get downtown and thing like that. Y'all want sure. Y'all get downtown and y'all want to get all like this and all that stuff. You know how y'all do. Uh, especially the city five folk who done lived up north, you know. Hello. Uh, we do that real quick. Hello. So I, I think it's been even in all of our families. We know that, you know, your mama and her sisters and them could be out on the piazza. They could be out there talking, get out, you want to get out, yo. Boy, you you anything like that. You want to crack any? And then the next thing, like that phone rings. And they're going to pick up that phone. Hello? Hello? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, she's not in right now. Oh, but I'll, I'll give her your message. Who's calling? Okay, thank you very much. And then they'll hang up. Y'all look at Tell me, tell me I say I cry. I'm gonna call y'all. I know you ain't gonna want yet him. Okay, real quick. <laughs> so I just feel like it's a matter of survival. It's a matter of culture. I no matter where yes. you go in the world, if you meet black folks, we know how to code switch. Okay, right. we know how to that's do it. it, and we do it very well. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, you know, let's talk about St. Helena Island. Let's talk about the Gullah Geechee Nation. What are some of the initiatives that you are doing right now? Because you just finished a movie. Yes, yes. Uh, we just were on the NFL channel. I do believe I am the first female Gullah Geechee to ever be on the NFL channel and a non-football playing somebody on the NFL channel. So I'm very proud of that. Um, so the film was called <laughs> The Chief Who Walked the Sea. We had some of your home folks up in there. We had Avena from Naturally Geechee. She's in there. We also had Sister Annie who has Gullah Sweetgrass Baskets. She's in it and her basket's in it as well. I mean, her and we also had a lot of our Sweetgrass people featured in a movie prior to this one, Girlfriendship, which is on Hallmark. So mm -hmm. they've been rerunning that. Yep. And I hope they would rerun yes. it some more this month for the women. You know, so we had a wonderful time with that film. And there's more things coming, God willing. But the initiatives I'm working on right now on St. Helena, where we actually shot the chief who walked to see we shot parts of it there and then other parts were shot down in georgia which is where jim brown who we were paying tribute to is a native of he's a native of saint simon's god bless the dead mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize he and joe frazier smoking joe frazier major That's athletic right. champions are native Gullah Geechee, so we got him that these sure know all right so i'm working on now a lot of things to not only sustain the culture by living it but to sustain our environment because as you know, if we don't have healthy waterways, we don't have healthy earth to plant our food in, mm -hmm. we will not thrive and survive as a culture. These are basic exactly. things you and I talked many years about going on the farm and things like that. We know what you're talking about. We didn't read that in a book. Okay, we live this stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I have a project now, a few of them, but all of them fall under Gullah Geechee C and Me. C stands for Saving Environmental Actions. And ME stands for in the marine environment. Under it, we have a NOAA grant right now for Gullah Geechee Create, which is our coastal um, resiliency project where we are working with artists to actually, we call it the coastal removal, engaging artists in, through the environment. And so what we're doing is we're going out to our waterways and cleaning up debris. And then having that debris turned into artwork by Gullah Geechee and African-American artists here in South Carolina. So actually, I am, as y'all can see, I'm in a car because I'm literally on my way back home to St. Helena Island because we have our Gullah Geechee Create Day on Saturday at Penn Center. And so, and our National Historical Park for reconstruction. So we are going to be going down to the creek, down by the riverside, 
cleaning up. We're going to have a fish fry. We're going to then get together and create a lot of beautiful things. We have the Mr. Stucky coming to do paintings. And so that people can paint, we can create, we can sew. Whatever there is that's in people's souls this weekend, we want to bring out that creativity. And I feel like when you do environmental adaptation or sustainability, it doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be in all this techno speak that we like to get into as scientists it can be fun as well and so Thanks. something we're doing is also called green and gullah geechee communities where we've been working with the environmental protection agency epa and also what they call USAC, okay which is actually the u.s army corps of engineers so that we can also mm -hmm. do sustainable green infrastructure so all of this ties together yeah. and i'm just loving it and this work is really taking me around the world so this is just part of the legs of my world tour for this year. Some of the work I'm doing at home and then flying overseas. Right. And, you know, I, I really appreciate you being on the show because folks don't know. We almost thought we weren't going to have the show because you are traveling. And yes, um, and to be able to have you talking and how people can get involved. You know, Queen, we've got to take a commercial break. But we're going to come back. And when we come back, I want you to talk about how the community can get involved with the Gullah Geechee Nation and what Excellent. we need to do. Okay? Will do. All right, thanks. Thanks so much, Queen. Peace and love, sis. We'll be right back. <laughs> The Orangeburg County Conference Center supports downtown Orangeburg and our surrounding communities. The 6,000 plus square foot space is ideal for groups of up to 400 people attending corporate meetings, conventions, workshops, and special events. Conference Center staff are inspired to ensure that everyone can enjoy the modern amenities state-of-the-art ballroom that accommodates up to 400 guests banquet style and 430 guests theater style. A warming kitchen with hot boxes, ice machine, refrigerator, freezer, and counter space. A lobby that accommodates 150 guests with special events outdoors. The comfortable outdoor amphitheater has a video wall and seating. Adjacent to the amphitheater is 12,000 plus square feet of green space that extends events outside, plus complimentary on-site event parking and additional parking across the street. Your event can take place all in one spectacular location. We welcome your special event in Orangeburg. Greetings, greetings, this is Chief Fode, a gentleman Saray of the Gullah Nation of North America, and you are now tuned in to the Tammy Show. Welcome back to the show. Listen, if you've just joining us, I have Queen Quet of the Gullah Geechee Nation, the chiefess that's with me today. And um, Queen, you know, I, again, I want to thank you for being on the show. But one of the things that you just spoke about is sustainability in your environment. So, I, you know, when we talk about the Sea Islands, we, we know what's happening in the environment. We know what's happening globally. And how can people get involved with your initiatives to really help you? Well, I really appreciate you asking about that because it's interesting how many people come from way outside the Gullah Geechee Nation to participate in volunteering. Like every March is Gullah Geechee Volunteer Month. So if they go to GullahGeecheeNation.com, they can click on events and they'll see the Volunteer Month link and they can always sign in there. They can also go to Gullah Geechee Land dot com and there is a volunteer or sign up form at the end of the website and that also comes into our office and then we have a database of those who want to work with us but i know a lot of people on social media they follow us and all they need to do is look at those events like Gullah Geechee create we also have the coastal cultures conference coming up and what we're doing with the coastal cultures conference this year is we're making sure that april 
third and fourth are dedicated to working on Gullah Geechee Create activities like what I described earlier. And then on the Friday, mm -hmm. we're going over even into Georgia to work with family over there and to learn more about what's happening with sustainability issues and how we can link them because somehow people don't seem to realize we are all connected here in this region. So what happens in one place is going to happen in the other if we don't do this regionally together. And then Saturday, we have a whole bunch of dialogues and engagement sessions with our various partners from various environmental groups, Gullah Geechee Nation leaders, and everyone who comes together to say, okay, this is what we've already accomplished and what we can do next. So if people go to my website, queenquet.com, send me an email from the booking link and say, well, we are a group that would love to come down and work with you, or we'd like to gain more knowledge about how to do these adaptation and sustainability things and other areas in the Gullah Geechee Nation, please reach out because we're always doing things to work. Like we the spiritual says, work together, chillin'. So that's how we work in collaboration. Yeah. And, you know, I, I know that a lot of people would be interested in, in knowing more because he, people are now really interested in Gullah Geechee. I don't know what's happening, but everybody is asking about what is Gullah Geechee? How do I sound? How do I get to be Gullah Geechee? Well, I tell mm. you, you can't be Gullah Geechee. You can't be born that be way now. Okay, then. You can't be. <laughs> Thank you, man. And they even want to be we, we have to fight for be who we be any. Okay. Boom. That part. That, that part. part. You know, Queen, when I think about all that you have done, what would you say that if if I asked you the question and I said, Queen, you've done so much, what is it that you haven't accomplished that you want to accomplish? What I have not yet accomplished is the release of my documentary series about the Gullah Geechee Nation. It was to be released during the 20th anniversary of the Gullah Geechee Nation, which was 2020. So we know what happened, all right? And so where I was on my world tour and a whole lot, bunch of other people was out and about. We talk about environmental sustainability. I always tell people, Mother Nature ain't gonna play with you. She got tired of people polluting her. So she sent everybody to their rooms and we had to sit down while we monkey for a little while. Okay then. So in 2025, God willing, this will not happen again. So in 2025, there'll be a whole series of releases of different aspects of a series of documentaries I put together about the Gullah Geechee Nation and people will get to see those and I'll travel around the world with them. So that's one, that's one of the things that I haven't yet done that I'm looking forward to doing for sure. That's just one. And so that's when we one. say that's one, then what, what's next for Queen Quick? Besides so the what, documentary, what's next for you? What's next? What's next is checking off my final two continents that I haven't visited yet. And I will be able to say that I would have been to all the continents of the world as I've already been to all 50 states. So that's coming. All right. And so this right. year, I thought I would go ahead and check another because again, in 2020, I was going to finish that list off. And then all of what happened happened. So I'm spreading it out. I'm going to get it done between this year and next year. And we'll be coming back on the show and we can talk about all my journeys at that point. So that's another one. And then just in the immediate what's up next is I'm actually going on the European part of this year's world tour. I'll be speaking at the United Nations on behalf of our people once again at the Oceans Decade Conference. And I'll also be at the Our Oceans Conference presenting as well. So there's a lot of great things on the horizon. Wow, Queen. I don't know how you do it, because every time, and listen, when I do text you, you say, Sister Tammy, I'm on the road. I'm on the road. And so that's a good thing. Because what you're doing is spreading the word about our culture yes. and about what Gullah Geechee is all about. And every and like I said, people are constantly asking, what is Gullah Geechee? Who are, who are you? Who are you? And so I'm glad to know that you're continuing the work and you're on this journey. And um, I thank God for you. Last thing I want to ask you, well, I got two things. Yes. Viewers are watching. What do you want the viewers to glean from this interview? If they don't get anything else, what do you want them to glean from this interview? What I want them to glean is that there is only one Gullah Geechee Nation, and we are one unified people. We have one flag, one constitution, one nation, 
Jacksonville or Jacksonville, we know who we be, that we be Gullah Geechee anointed people. And if you want to be part of the largest Gullah Geechee family reunion that we have, every July, July the 27th, it'll be this year, the last Saturday in July, we kick off Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week, but we start with Gullah Geechee Family Day. And it's going to be on St. Helena Island again this year. And we want y'all all to come out there and rep the Gullah Geechee family. And interestingly enough, Sister Tammy, we have had people come from West Africa who were Gola or Gizi to be a part of the celebration. Mm. We have also had family come from Jamaica. And they let me know real quick. They get their We Be Gullah Geechee at 90 t-shirt. And they let me know, we are still part of the family. You know, I say, me not throw you out, tall, tall. And I do the people back a yard this way. So they be like good sister, one love, you know? And so that's the thing is that definitely one love and the, just the appreciation, the love and respect that I've always had for you and the work that we've done together. Mm -hmm. You know, people may not know it and Sister Tammy might not tell you, but the two of us are founding members of the International African American Museum that now stands in Charleston as well. And that was a lot of blood, sweat and tears and work that went into the vision okay. to even have that standing and so that doesn't happen without unity so i pray that y'all would see yeah. when we on here this ain't just oh we doing this for the camera and then we hang up it's a different story no 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 no. Right. we truly have That's serious right. love and unity and we support each other's endeavors so that if y'all take that away and do that that would be a blessing to my soul wow thank you so much queen Thank you, thank you for that. Listen, uh, what's three words that describe Queen Quet? Wow, that three words I get? Okay, so, so let's see. And let's see, should I describe me or should I tell you words people say about me to me? Which way should I go? No, what? you, you. Me describe me. okay. All right, faith-filled, Gull well, I guess that's cheating, right? If I say Gullah Geechee, or can I use that as one word? <laughs> Faith you can use it. One. We can count that as one word. <laughs> All right, we can count that as one word. So then Faith Bill, one Gullah Geechee, and Strong. All right, faith Phil, Gullah Geechee, and Strong. Those are your three words, and I tell you what, and that I appreciate you for all the work that you do. And my sister, I have loved working with you all these years, and we're going to continue. Whatever I can do, you know I'm here for you. Yes, ma'am, I know that. And you know the, the feeling is mutual. That's right. That's right. Uh, well, well, I guess... Yep, you know, we cutting out now, so I know you're deep in the country because you started cutting out. I almost on. I get in, I get in there. We trying to get yeah. to South Cackalack, George. North, North Cackalack trying to keep you on the border, yeah. So they try to cut me off, but it can't do them. It can't do them. <laughs> it can't. Listen, thank you so much, Queen. Be safe travels, okay? Thank you for being on the show. I know. Peace and I will. Peace and blessings. Bye, my darling. Love you. All right, folks, you heard it right here. This is this. We made it to the end. We were wondering if we were going to make it. But Queen Quet, chiefess of the Gullah Geechee Nation, we want to show her. We want to show all of her handles. If you would, Willie, show her handles, Facebook and her IG, Twitter. We want you to be able to get in touch with her, queenquet.com. Queen, I see you there. Thank you so much. I know we you were cutting out and I want to say thank you again for being on the show. Listen, that's X, formerly Twitter, at Gullah Geechee. You heard her right here. And, um, and I think you showed her IG page as well. And we got the Facebook. So we have all of your handles, Queen. And again, Queen, we want to thank you. I want to thank you viewers for being, being on the Tammy Show, for always joining us. You know, it's a blessing. And next week, we've got a very special guest for you to meet. Another Black Her Story, as Queen Quet would say, that's coming on. And I'm excited about it. You know, I want to thank my producers, Alicia, 
Tiana, Willie, thank you so much for always doing such a great and wonderful job. Please remember to subscribe to the Tammy TV show. You can do that by going to YouTube. That's the Tammy TV show YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button and it's going to notify you of when the show is coming on. Remember, let's be a blessing to somebody today and every day. Remember, do that. Call somebody today, because if you don't, then you'll wonder why I didn't call them in the first place. But be a blessing. Thank you again. And remember, I love you. And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.